if you are a fan of grocery hauls, this video is definitely for you. Today I'm going to have not one, not two, but three grocery hauls to share with you from three different stores. Today I have all of my kids with me and the plan is to hit up Costco, Trader Joe's, and Aldi all in the same day. I have a goal to stock up the house with everything we're going to need for about a month. I also want to pick up a few hurricane preparedness items since we do live in Florida and I'm also going to be giving the kids a little challenge so they're each going to get a chance to pick out a new food item to try. My name is Jennifer and I want to welcome you to the Family Fudge. Okay guys, so we made it to store number one, Costco. Now before we left home, I did tell the kids all about their snack challenge for today. Okay, Kenzie gets to pick first because she's the oldest. <laughs> okay, open it up, see what you got. You're shopping at Aldi. Okay, Jackson's next. Okay, where are you shopping? Costco. Ooh. Okay, who is next? Me! <laughs> Lily, she's the next oldest. Okay, where are you shopping? Uh, hold on. Costco! Ooh, you and Jack are shopping at Costco. Oh. <laughs> and last but not least, we have... Open it. What does it say? TJ's, that means you're shopping at... Trader Joe's! <laughs> <laughs> Rule number one, you can only shop at the store that you picked. Rule number two, you can pick one snack item. Rule number three is that it has to be something that we've never purchased before. Okay guys, can we do it? Yeah! So at Costco, we have both Jackson and Lily picking their special item. At Costco, we want to get all of our normal items that we use throughout the month, but I also want to stock up on things like toilet paper and water and some extra canned goods because hurricane season is here and I definitely want to make sure that we are prepared in case we lose power or water, we will be ready. Now before we left home, I had a chance to look through the Costco coupon book and I've circled a few things that I'm hoping to find, but check this out you guys, they have a whole back to school section already when I saw this I was like no way we just finished school I'm not even ready to start thinking about back to school yet but you guys let me know in the comments down below if you're already seeing back to school items in stores near you Next up, store number two, Trader Joe's. Here at Trader Joe's, it is Griffin's turn to pick out a special item, and I'm probably gonna pick out a couple of special items too. There are so many fun snacks at Trader Joe's, and since we don't come here very often, I'm definitely going to be stocking up. And now last but not least, store number three is Aldi. Okay guys, we are back home now. It is time to bring everything in and I'll show you what we picked out. Okay, Kenzie, what'd you pick? Mochi ice cream. Now we've tried mochi ice cream before, but never in a s'mores flavor. This looks really interesting. What'd you get, Griffin? Chocolate watermelon. Now this might be good, but it also might be weird. This is basically <laughs> a chewy watermelon stick dipped in chocolate. Ooh. And then Lily. I picked some puffs. But not cheese puffs, right? <laughs> no. These ones have chocolate and vanilla. So it looks like it's a crispy cookie outside with a filling. So that should be good. Okay, Jackson, what did you pick? 
I picked these mandarin orange drinks. Drinkable I'm mandarin oranges in juice. That's interesting. Did you already try? You already tried one. Mm -hmm. Was it good? Uh huh. Okay, should we see what's inside? Mm-hmm. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> it looks good, but it looks messy. Mm-hmm. Okay, Lily, now I'm not sure if this is chocolate or vanilla, but let's open it up and see. Oh, it's chocolate. Yeah. You wanna try one? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Mmm, this is really good. They're good? Let me try. Mm, it's very crispy and crumbly. It's good. I like it. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Now, this is the one I'm most worried about because I think it might not be very good, but we're going to see. You going to try it? Mm-hmm. You think that, oh, ooh, look at that. It's kind of reminding me of chocolate-covered orange peels. Okay, give it a try. Mmm, it's good. Mmm. That is really different. It's kind of like mm. a, like a gummy inside. Mm, it's okay. I don't know that I would buy it again though. You like it, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay guys, so starting with the Costco items first, I think my total came to just over $500 and as far as the non-food items, I didn't get that much. I did get four of the bath towels on sale right now. These are such a good deal. They're very good quality. I got two of the green and two of the blue. For our emergency storage, I got two things of water. So this is 12 gallons. I also got a big thing of TP and another pack of lighters. Definitely good to have in your emergency storage. Okay guys, so also from Costco, I stocked up on our favorite chicken nuggets. I talk about these in just about every haul because they are that good. They're very similar to Chick-fil-A nuggets. I love to cook these in the air fryer and two bags should last us about a month. Next, I picked up two different Adele's products. These are both on sale right now. First, I got the teriyaki and pineapple chicken meatballs. These are really good. They're already fully cooked and it actually comes with two different packages. Then I also got our favorite chicken and apple sausages. Now I love to slice these up and then throw them into a stir fry. This actually comes with three packs so I can actually get three dinners out of this. Now if you've seen any of my hauls before you'll know that we love the pre-cooked bacon from Costco. It's so quick and easy and I don't have to deal with all of the grease. So I got one of those. And then I got something brand new that I'd never seen before. This is actually sausage strips. So it kind of looks like turkey bacon, but it's sausage. So that looks really interesting. And then of course I also picked up a Costco chicken. This is gonna be for dinner tonight. And I also got a 24 pack of the organic eggs. And then you guys, I picked up lots of different things to fill up my freezer. Lots of times throughout the month, I know I'm gonna need a quick lunch or a quick dinner. So I definitely stocked up on our favorites. First, I got a 30 pack of the chicken and cheese taquitos. These are really good in the air fryer and this big box can last a long time. And the same thing goes for the bagel bites. These are so quick and easy if you throw them in the air fryer. This comes with 72, so that should last a long time. And then we picked up our favorite frozen yakisoba. This comes with six different servings. They only take about three minutes in the microwave and it is so good. For a quick and easy breakfast, I also got the Jimmy Dean Delights. These are also on sale right now. And then you guys, I kind of went crazy on the shrimp. I've been totally on a shrimp kick recently. I'm really enjoying shrimp. This one is the breaded panko shrimp. This is kind of like coconut shrimp, but without the coconut. And then I also got a pack of tempura shrimp, which is my absolute favorite. I love to take this, put it in the air fryer. Then I'll make up one of my favorite ramens and put 
put it right on top. It is so good. And speaking of ramen, I did go ahead and get one more at Costco. Each of these packs comes with six of these bowls, so that should last a long time. Now these next items I would put in sort of the miscellaneous category. Just like the kids picked up a snack, I did too. But mine is the Keto Trail Mix. This is coconut and dark chocolate. There's almonds, dried coconut in there, macadamia nuts. It looks really good. I also picked up some sugar-free barbecue sauce to try. This is the Kinder's brand. And then I got two new jars of jam to try. This is actually mango and passion fruit flavored. That sounds really good. Now as far as dairy goes, I did pick up some regular milk, some almond milk, one tub of sour cream, one tub of cottage cheese, and the yogurts that are on sale right now. These are the Noosa brand and they're really good. They're nice, thick, and creamy. This comes with blueberry, strawberry rhubarb, and lemon, which is my favorite. Now on to fruits and veggies. I didn't get a ton at Costco this time. I did pick up a container of spinach. Funny thing is my daughter Lily asked for this specifically. She actually loves spinach, which is great. I also got a double pack of the baby carrots, a big bag of big carrots. We got some cotton candy grapes and some avocados. I also got a big watermelon and I almost forgot about the pineapple. I love to keep canned pineapple on hand. I just put it in my food storage area. And if you missed the video on how I do my emergency food storage, I'll go ahead and link that video down below for you guys. And then lastly from Costco, I didn't go crazy on the bread items. I just got a pack of the low carb tortillas and a double pack of the honey wheat bread. Okay guys, next up, Trader Joe's. Now, first up from Trader Joe's, I stocked up on my reusable bags. Over the last year at my Trader Joe's, they actually didn't want you to bring in your own, but that is not the case anymore, so I got a couple of new ones, including this really nice, huge insulated bag, which is great because we don't live that close to a Trader Joe's, and this way all of my cold items from Trader Joe's can stay cold. Now, honestly, I wasn't planning on buying very many fruits and vegetables at Trader Joe's, but I was really surprised. They have really good quality, the prices were really good, and lots of the things looked really interesting too, like these veggie kits. So this first one I got is the Pesto Pasta Veggie Kit. So it's got noodles, carrots, broccoli, cauliflower, Parmesan cheese, lemon, basil, and kale. So you're supposed to cook this up. I also got the vegetable in soba noodle stir fry kit and I got the miso and vegetable brown rice saute kit. So I'm thinking, you know, one for tonight, one for tomorrow, one for the next day. It should be really interesting to try. We also picked up a little bit of zucchini, a petite bag of pears, and a small bag of apples. And I actually like that these are small bags, so I'm not worried that these are going to go bad before we can eat them all. Next up is the snack category. And let me just say, Trader Joe's has so many fun and interesting snacks, especially when it comes to popcorn. I got three different kinds. First, I got the mixed popcorn. So this has sweet, tangy, smoky, and spicy all in one. I also got the pickle popcorn. This is really popular. Apparently it sells out quite often. And then I got the new key lime flavored kettle popcorn. That sounds really good. I love anything key lime flavored. Back over here I got my favorite crunchy curls. These are actually potato and lentil snack. I got two boxes of the mini crackers. These ones have peanut butter inside and these ones have cheese. And then I got two cans of the Greek style chickpeas. These have parsley and cumin. It sounds different, but trust me, they're really good. You can just pop open the can and snack away. Super tasty. We didn't get too many breakfast foods, but we did get a box of cereal. Griffin picked out these. I'm guessing they're like multi-grain Cheerios. And I got two different kinds of sweet and spicy sauce. Now this one we've tried before and it's really good on dumplings, but this one is new. This is the hot honey sauce. Never tried hot honey before, so hopefully it's good. Oh yes, and I can't forget the pickles. I got a jar of the dill pickle spears for my daughter Lily who loves pickles. Next up, 
frozen food. I just picked up some of our favorites with a couple of new things to try. I picked up four packages of the mandarin orange chicken, definitely a Trader Joe's staple. I got two bags of the Trader potato tots. These are just like regular tater tots, but I think they're better. And then I got two packages of my favorite butter chicken. This is like a microwavable meal that tastes like a restaurant. It is so good. A little bit spicy, but I love it. And then these we've actually never tried before. I think they might be new. These are the Philly cheesesteak bao buns. That sounds really good. Now, just like at Costco, I didn't get too many bread items at Trader Joe's. I did get the long pizza crust kit. This comes with two different pieces, so we can have a make your own pizza night. And then I picked up some of the British style crumpets. I haven't seen these at Trader Joe's for a long time and I used to love them. And now lastly from Trader Joe's, I also stocked up on lots of canned food. I always like to have plenty of canned food on hand in case of an emergency. Of course, canned food can stay good for a long time, so it's perfect for emergency food storage. And Trader Joe's has some of my favorites. So I got 12 cans of the Joe's O's, that's the canned pasta. I got six cans of the turkey chili with beans. I got some cans of refried black beans and refried pinto beans. And I got just four cans of the corn. This one has no sugar or salt added. And now the very last store we went to was Aldi. And I really didn't end up getting much at all from Aldi. I did get a cucumber, some raspberries, and some blueberries. I got some peaches from Georgia, some broccoli, two heads of lettuce. I got these really fun turtle-shaped cheddar cookies. So kind of like goldfish, but turtle shapes instead. I got some Wall Burger brand burger patties. Never tried these before, they look interesting. I also got the Wall Burger sauce to go along with them. I got two packs of these Spirals cheese snacks. These have mozzarella and cheddar combined. I stocked up on some cheese slices. And then my favorite items from Aldi were definitely the pineapple cup. It says it's a cheeky pineapple sipper. This looks so fun. And then I got two packs of reusable ice cubes. These ones kind of remind me of Orbeez. And then these ones are in like a lime, a lemon, and an orange shape. So cute. And as Mackenzie and I were leaving Aldi, we saw the poster for the items coming next week and they look super fun. I can't wait to go back and get this really cute beach towel. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.